You know, there's a lot of villains that I've found pretty attractive. Hey everyone, welcome to Princess Gay, I'm your host Connie, and today we're here with episode 1 of I'm in Love with the Villainous. This is our new Thursday series, our new donation reward series, and it is, for, it is a donation reward for random internet stranger. And sorry if it starts getting dark out, it's been like cloudy and overcast lately. Um, but yeah. Uh, you may notice I'm wearing the same thing I was for the Adventure Time reactions yesterday. That's because I'm recording this a day early. It's just, I just decided to. <laughs> no real reason. I just decided to record it a day early. Um, but yeah, so I'm in love with the villainous. I, I don't really know much of anything about this. It's probably an isekai based off the title. Um, I, I like imagine a person being isekai to like another world or a video game world or something and ends up like falling in love with the villainous. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to expect with this at all. I, I I don't know anything about it. It's like outside of it being requested, I don't even know if I've ever heard of it before. So I guess we'll just have to see and find out. I have no context for this whatsoever, so not really much of anything else to say going into it. Um, I guess we'll just get right into it. I know, short... Uh, short opening thoughts but you know sometimes that just happens let me cut in here real quick to remind you that we have a lot of awesome content on the channel a plethora of series reactions every monday through friday with two on friday we also have movie reactions every saturday and sunday as well as a few let's plays on the channel we alternate days between horizon forbidden west and baldur's gate 3 and anno mutationum is on saturdays please Go to the description below and follow the link to this video's reaction. It is redirected for copyright. And don't forget to like and subscribe for all future content on Princess of Gay. Thank you so much. See you all at the reaction. And we are back and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. What? <laughs> um... Well, I guess I didn't expect this to be gay, so there's that. But also, it's like... So she's so... Like... I don't know if I would consider this love. This comes across more as lust. To me. Like, this is very unhealthy amounts of obsession and don't get me wrong i i, I mean i'm a fan of things i <laughs> i'm I, i'm a fan of video games of anime of cartoons and stuff i understand what it's like to be like really obsessed with certain characters and stories and whatnot i mean f for fuck's sake i'm autistic like, that just kind of comes with it. <laughs> At least for me. I, obviously, everyone's autism is different, but... For for me, um, that kind of comes with it. Where I get, like, unnaturally attached to characters and stories and whatnot. Um, to points where it can be a little less than ideal, <laughs> you could say. Um, but I'm not even as bad as her. It's like, th there's a point where it's like, okay, girl, you're somehow transported into this world as you fall asleep. So you're gonna, you're gonna now be in, in this kind of situation where this person who you were obsessed with and idolized as a fictional character is now in every conceivable way in your sight real this this person is now like an actual person from your perspective instead of just a video game character you can't treat actual people the same way you treat like a fictional character that doesn't exist 
It's like a fictional character. It's like, okay, fine, whatever. They, they're not real. It doesn't really matter, right? But when you treat an actual person like that, it's kind of creepy. In fact, not even kind of. It's just fucking creepy. It's creepy. It's obsessive. It's kind of psychotic. It's like there's a, there's a difference between being in love with someone and aggressively, unhealthily, like lusting after them to a, to a degree where it's like you're being an active nuisance and on top of just causing trouble and you know creeping people out like you don't seem to understand what like love is <laughs> And I understand that this is a comedy series. I understand that this is clearly, like, meant to be a joke and everything. You're not supposed to take it too seriously. But but it, it just comes across as, like, really, like, how, how would I put it? This girl needs to learn some fucking social interaction. Because it's like, my god, this is not it. She needs to learn how to communicate with people in a healthy way. Because, like, the way she's, like, communicating with her and, and, and the way she thinks about this relationship and everything, it's like, again, this is not love. Love takes time, effort, knowledge. It, it, it requires you to put in work to not just know about your character or, or about your love interest. Um but to you know understand them as a human fucking being and again we have to view it this way because from her perspective this is now a person not a video game character so she has the way she's acting is gross honestly and from the perspective of someone she's trying to get with it's extremely disrespectful and shows an immense um an, an immense uh what's the word i hate it when that happens um disservice to them i guess you could just say it's like you're not proving that you care about them at all. You're just kind of proving that they're a trophy for you to win. And it's like that's that's not endearing. It's gross as fuck. On top of that, it's like this series is is called I'm in love with the villainous and like Ray, I'm calling her Ray, even though that's not her actual name. It's the name we know her as. We don't, it never actually said her actual name, I think. It just said that was the character name she put in. So we're going to call her Ray. But it said um, that she, um, that she referred to Claire as a villainess. But Claire is just not that. Claire is a bully. She is, you know, a, a bit of a tsundere. She's very high and mighty because of her position and, you know, wealth and whatnot. But there's literally nothing about her that makes her a villainess. See, when I heard that title, what I thought of was like an evil sorceress living in a castle tower with minions of like goblins serving under her not a rich high school bully it's like really and, and again comedy anime and i assume the joke is that she sees her as like more of a she she uses the term needlessly and everything and that that's an exaggeration of things because this girl clearly exaggerates a lot and it's just i i, I don't know
I don't know. It's just, I, I, I feel like it's not only just not what I expected, but I, I feel like it doesn't even like describe itself well. And I, I just, the humor is kind of all centered on one thing. And honestly, it gets more annoying after a while than funny. Because it's just the same joke over and over again. This girl's unhealthy obsession with Claire. She, uh, she quote unquote loves her. And when it's like she steps on her foot, so she's, she's like harder. It's just like, Jesus fuck. I'm honestly surprised she didn't say like mommy after that, like harder mommy or something like that. I'm really surprised because that's definitely the, the kind of vibe she gives off. It's, it's not even just masochism. It's, it's fucking creepiness. It's just like, you are obsessed to such an unhealthy, weird fucking degree that it just, it's, it bothers me. <laughs> uh, not a fan. Not a fan. Um, I'll give this one or two more episodes. But unless it, like, uh, like really has a hard left turn and just really changes up the formula and things, this is very much not my kind of series. Like, very actively not something I would ever be into. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's too much. It's too much. It's like, just because it's gay, that, that's not enough for me. I... This series and this girl need to show some restraint. But yeah, um... I, I'm not sold on, but like I said, I'll give it one or two more episodes. Uh, see if it picks up any. Um... But yeah, I'm not, I'm not really invested in anything here. So we'll see. Um, but tell me in the comments below, uh, what did you think of this first episode of I'm in Love with the Villainous? And, um, for now, uh, before we close this off, I just want to remind you that we have a lot of great content on the channel. Between Monday and Friday, we have a plethora of awesome series reactions. And on Monday specifically, we also have YouTube, or at least YouTube adjacent reactions. Pretty much anything that doesn't quite fit into a normal series or movie reaction, it goes in this slot. And speaking of movie reactions, we have those every Saturday and Sunday. I pre-record them during the week, upload them on the weekend, uh, just so that every day has some sort of reaction content going on for it. And we also are currently going through a couple Let's Plays on the channel. We're doing, uh, we're posting uh, parts of Horizon Forbidden West every other day. So you'll uh, have seen one yesterday on Wednesday, you'll see one tomorrow on Friday, and then Sunday, and so on and so forth, every other day. Um, and we are also playing through Poppy Playtime on Saturdays. So, uh, the final parts of Chapter 1 will be up this weekend. And, yeah, we're only doing Chapter 1 for now because that's all that's available on PS5 currently. We will be going back to Animal Mutation right after. Um, but Poppy Playtime is a donation reward for Venom. And if you want to know how to donate for a future PS5 Let's Play, go to the channel, go to the channel search, and type in all in one search june double reward month ps5 that should uh take you to the correct video that'll let you know everything you need to in regards to how to donate for the let's play um for a future ps5 let's play i should say that being said as always thank you so so much for tuning in and for now i'm connie and i'm signing off see y'all next time <laughs>